Lahat tayo ay napapagod. But there is one who never gets tired. Not only that, he is also the one who can strengthen and refresh us. Welcome to our short series, Jesus Refreshes the Weary. Low bat ka na ba? There's this famous K-drama titled 2521 kung saan isang professional fencer ang bidang babaeng si Nahido. She practiced many hours every week and had to give up some academic classes in favor of training. Another memorable K-drama protagonist na atleta rin ang lead character ay si Kim Bok Ju sa Weightlifting Fairy. Like all athletes, kailangan ay lagi silang malakas, malusog, in shape, at alerto. However, both characters have weaknesses. No matter how healthy their immune system and strong their stamina, may hangganan din ang kanilang lakas. Maging sa aspetong mental, emotional, at psychological, they too have limitations. Usually, dumadating ang kanilang vulnerability at pagiging flawed sa oras na kailangan nilang mag-compete. What these characters are going through is very relatable. Walang sino man ang ligtas sa kahinaan at shortcomings. Kahit ang pinakamalakas at masipag na tao ay umaabot din sa puntong gusto na lang niyang mahiga at magpahinga. But the problem is, even during those times na nangihina tayo, hindi naman tumitigil ang mundo. Kalimitan pa nga kung kailan pagod na pagod na tayo. Yun pa ang panahon na kailangan nating lumaban. Dito papasok ang pangako ni Jesus sa 2 Corinthians 12.9. My grace is sufficient for you. For my strength is made perfect in weakness. What's amazing about God's promise is that it doesn't only apply to physical weakness. He also gives us strength when we are emotionally weary, when we are tempted, and when our minds are bombarded by negative thoughts. He promises that those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Let's pray. Dear Lord, you are my strength. Thank you because whenever I am weary and close to giving up, you never let me fall. And whenever I am weak, you make me strong. Amen. Paano natin ito i-apply? Lobat ka na ba? Kabi-kabila ba ang dahilan ng iyong pagkahapo? Para bang hindi matapos-tapos ang mga responsibilidad? Tumawag, humingi, at umiyak ka kay Lord. Nakikinig siya at siguradong palalakasin ka niya. Ang pagpapala ko ay sapat sa lahat ng pangangailangan mo. Lalong nahahayag ang aking kapangyarihan kung ikaw ay mahina. Kaya't buong galak kong ipagmamalaki ang aking mga kahinaan upang lalo kong madama ang kapangyarihan ni Kristo. Sapagkat kung kailan ako lalong mahina, saka naman ako nagiging malakas. 2 Corinthians 12, 9 and 10 Sana ay na-recharge kayo ng mensahe ng ating series na Jesus Refreshes the Weary. This is Felici Pangilinan Buizon saying, Mas litaw, in fact, litaw na litaw ang strength ni Lord sa ating kahinaan.